Bante lagi gue putih nggak batu dere ba. Dari dapat pagi ini ini kau hai anak bo. Trail entails approximately two hours hike from the jump off point passing through narrow trails and bushy woods, while the Tayapok Trail is a shorter one, approximately 30 minutes from the jump off site. Well, we don't settle for less, so we chose the Gilon Trail. <laughs> We started trekking at around 8 a.m. with our master guides, Baby Endo for the lead, Poggy Boy Stanley for the mid, and Master Patrick as a sweeper. However, it turned out to be me, myself, and I was the sweeper. Speaking of the kind of trail, it rained the night before we hiked, so we expected muddy, slippery, and difficult trail apart from the assault, which is by default present. Well, thanks to the mountain mix trail, it made our hiking experience a lot easier. You will experience foresty trail, grassy, and open trail before reaching the summit.
Emergency. Yes, party party before something goes wrong, this trail by far is slightly technical apart from its assault. It's slippery because there are three routes present in a narrow path where a high cliff is just right beside it. You'd better watch your footsteps.
Oke, cuma tak kuang belas. Oke, apa mau dia? Sepan juta ini. Tiket, wave. Nanti lagi gue putih nggak batu diri lo. This is one of the most famous spots too. Biak na bato, buak na bato, cracked stones, whatever. Just watch it. After a long hike, Finally, we were just few steps away from reaching the summit, and should I say, this is the last assault. The summit has two resting sites which you need to pay for. This spot is just along our way to the resort and we were amazed by the view of the beach and the spot is also a source of nature's spring water where you can fill your bottles up enough to sustain your hydration needs and reach your next destination. It took us about 3 hours hike before we reached the resort. Ha amazing! Ha go! Asa si Stan, asa si Kat, asa sila, asa ko. So I'd like to present to you my trekking buddies. So starting with Pat, Jomar, Chick Chan, Bell, 
Hana, Hamasu, and Ivy. It's time to take a dip and enjoy the calm breeze and cold water from the beach. Crystal clear water and perfect picturesque view made it the best. Speaking of expenses, we booked an overnight stay at Kanibad Resort and rented a guest house for 12 people for only 1,800 pesos. Checked in time is 1.30 p.m. Checked out will be 12 noon. So before going to the resort, we decided to set up to Mount Puting Bato Peak to really experience a whole new adventure. For our food, we chose two DIY. We spent 2,300 and bought some food from their local market. Fresh seafoods and grilled chicken. Thanks to our master chefs, the boys. <laughs> Hello guys, the backpackers are going home. Bye. 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 Before I end this video, let me thank my trekking buddies for this experience. Truly amazing. Pure fun. Go lang ng go. Until the next saka. This has been Trek with Raj saying, Ba't pakakain ng gulay kung siya lang ang nagbibigay kulay sa aking buhay? Yeah. <laughs>